Hello and welcome you welcome to this pack for the Dissolve Effect pack. This is gonna be more in-depth look at how to use it as requested by one of my YouTube followers. Okay, so in the pack you'll notice you get animations, blueprints, you get the scene so you can actually see exactly how things work. I also include textures that you can use, you can toss them up to you, and then the materials. So you'll notice there's a 2D box. Uh, I have animated material, so the sequencer will actually show how you can animate it there. There's a 3D box, ground materials, which is actually used on the character, material functions, and all the all the fun stuff. So the first one we're going to look at is the this one. It's going to be the 2D box dissolve, and as you notice, I have material instances for each one. In here you'll notice you can use a custom position so it's this little guy right here. This actually is controlled by the material functions, material parameters, and the blueprint included in the pack. And it allows you to be able to move it around and then it changes how it dissolves the effect. In here there's a fringe color so you can go in here and you can adjust like let's say you want it green, blue, purple. Uh, whatever fits your lifestyle and then there's the boost value so the intensity of the effect I'm gonna change it back the bounds so this one is on the 2d how it dissolves the effect I have it at negative 28 just to how you like it there's also power amounts so the amount of power you want it and then for this one to get this of where it dissolves this just adjust the edge off so if I go down you'll notice it dissolves it go back up brings it back and so on and so forth fun stuff and then if you want to because I also include sprites for that you can change the texture on what it looks like to dissolve it and you go from there perfect so the next one we're gonna look at is this guy this is the sphere dissolve so same thing, it has a use custom, so I actually have it checked, which is this little box right here. We're going to move it over so you see how it works. And in here, it's same thing, you can change the color, boost amount, how much uh, emission you want to show. There's the hardness uh, for the normal strength, that's how much normal you want on the character. So. If I change it to one, you know, it lowers it. Offset values changes how much offset is on the actual texture. Paramount again, how much, and then there's the UVs. Now, for this one to dissolve, you want to adjust the radius. As you notice, if I change it, it does this cool looking thing, and then I have it in the material where it like sort of animates it. And I thought that looked pretty cool doing that. And you notice if I adjust the power amount, show it's how much actually gets shown. So like if I go down, if I go up, so just how much of the actual effect that's dissolving the character. And then if I do the boost, how much emission it shows. So we're gonna keep it like at that. Uh, let's go. Well, let's do that. It looks pretty cool. Now, as I mentioned, there's this radius here. So if I move this, you'll notice how it actually is changing how it's dissolving it. So if I adjust the radius, let's go like something like that. You'll notice that it moves it over. And if I go up and down, you know notice how it changes there. So pretty cool stuff there and I'm just going to change that let's say back to high amount so we don't see it anymore perfect so that is the same thing and then of course same stuff uh, for the mannequin I have this texture so you can change what the normal what the texture would be and then let's say let's go up here and so this is the effect how it looks right now so if I were to go into here 
and let's say I grab this lightning texture you notice how it's actually changing how it looks so if I lower the power amount and then let's yeah so you notice how it's actually how it's changing how it's oh I guess I Stuff, and if I just, oh, I guess, <laughs> yeah. So fun stuff, of course. Play around with it, boost them out. But if I were to, let's say again, let's go to, right, let's say do like this noise one. Lower the radius, and you notice how it has like this cool looking effect there. Let's... Lower the hardness. So, yeah, it's a playing game on that. Let's try one more. Oh, we have these tiling ones. So let's say I add a cr like this one. You'll notice again how it's changing, how it dissolves the mesh there. Cool, cool. All right, so the next one we're gonna look into. Oh, and this is the timer version of that sphere. So it shows you how we go into the actual material ignore my dog there she's sleeping little princess uh, so timer dissolve them out goes into the divide and then the radius gets multiplied and that's how that works there perfect all right so next set is this guy this is the 3D box version of this. So we're gonna, so pretty much same stuff. Um, do you have to use cut? Nope, neither one of you do. Okay, no problem. So actually I wanna use this one, I guess it has a blue and I really like blue. So we're gonna see how this works. I'm of course gonna use this and in here, I'm gonna check on use custom. Of course it's gonna compile so that's fine, we'll go through the same stuff. Change the color how you want it. Boost amount, how much emission. Edge off, how much of that you want to show for the effect. There's power amount. Again, how much power you want. We're gonna go with a one. See how it adds that. And if I go to the bounds, yeah, let's go and do that. Uh, same stuff, offset, normal strength, you can change, but this one, it uses, it's not using a texture, except for on the mesh. So on the 3D box, you want to adjust the bounds. So the bounds is how much of that is actually used. Let's lower this edge off. There we go. Yeah, high value, it doesn't do really well on the dissolve. So as you notice on the edge off, how it's getting smaller, that just shows how much strength is used for the dissolve. Power mount, how much emission again. We're gonna, yeah, that looks pretty cool. And then, as you notice, I'm using the use custom. So on this one, this is the box position. So if I move it, You'll notice how it is adjusting this one. So if I go to the bounds, it goes that way. So yeah, at least you can see it. If I go over, that does that. If I go want to go 
if I want it to go up or if I want to go down. That's what it's doing there. So if I set this up high again, perfect. So that's the 3D box version, how to use that. This one is the animated material. So when you hit play, let's go over and hunt it down. Oh, there it goes. You'll notice how it's animating. And that's based off the sequencer, how that's set up. Alright, next ones are... I have the simple noise timers. And in the in this you'll notice that there's also versions in here. There's no timers and that allows you to be able to adjust those as well. But I want the simple noise. Let's go ahead and but since it's already on this one, we're just gonna go ahead and play around with it. Perfect. Okay, so same stuff your uh, texture when you want to use the dissolved texture but this one's going to be a little bit more easier because the glow amount is how much emission you have your normal strength offset tiling for how much tile you want for the effect to dissolve your UVs and then you can adjust the color so on this one I'm just going to go ahead simple noise I am just going to quickly uncheck that so that way when I save it and I'm gonna pause and let it compile all right we're back okay so it's compiled if I go in here the dissolve amount. That's the that's like the the bread and butter. So you'll notice how if I go down, it dissolves. If I go back up, undissolves. And it's clamped between zero and one. So if I go to zero, it does that. And if I go in between, you'll notice it has this cool looking stuff here. And then if I want more glow. I adjust that. Perfect. And let's, let's say I want a different texture. Let's try a lightning one again. So. Adds this cool looking lightning effect to it as it dissolves it. So that's how you adjust the simple noise values. And then the last one is, let's see, what, are you all the same? All right, the last one is the cloud noise. So, same thing, just the textures dissolve. And if you want to, basically it's the same stuff. Dissolve them out, dissolves it between zero and one and you can change the color now one thing I wanted to show you okay so what I want to show you is I dragged and this character here from the Unity asset store it's free if you want to try it out or you want to use your own character and then I adjusted this to make it to where the texture shown so as again uh, that's the normal map that's the normal character adjusted the power from the normal strength and then I also did some other adjustments so for example because I was using the lightning texture here nothing I was doing was making it to where it would come back to full which was really disappointing so what I did was I went into the noise let's go well, the one I used was that one but Let's go into tiling and let's try this one. Okay, it's gonna work. So as you'll notice in the bounds, once I dissolve it, it takes it away. So it must be the texture that's causing the issue from your end. But 
the bounds that you notice because I'm using the 3D box is it's taking it away. And then if I wanted to let's say use this one, it's doing the same thing. So um, yeah, but that's how you use this pa the, the dissolve effect pack that's in the Unity or the Unreal Engine asset store or marketplace, however you want to call it. And I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I will talk to you all later.